today we are talking about a taboo subject which shouldn't really be a taboo because it's something that happens naturally to women but because we live in a patriarchal society we are really told that our periods are taboo that they are unclean that you're supposed to seclude yourself so that you don't contaminate other people but i don't know what we didn't choose this life this life chose us <laughs> If we had a choice, do you think that a lot of women would choose to have periods every single month for I don't know how many years? Yet we treat it as if it's our fault that we're having periods, my goodness. But even that aside, there's so many things that no one ever tells you about periods. I remember while I was in school, we were just taught about pads, like how to put on a pad and that's it. No one tells you about the experience and my goodness. I wasn't ready for it. Every single month I'm always like, can I return this to sender? Because I didn't sign up for this. I didn't sign up for this. And one of the things that I never tell you is that having periods is really a lonely experience. It is something that a lot of women experience every single month, but it's very much a lonely experience because we are not allowed to talk about it. Even with our friends, our girlfriends, our friend groups, we meet but we don't talk about periods we don't spend like an hour or two talking about our periods which is a natural experience and which really impacts a lot of our lives when you even look at the stories that are written about women in books when you look at the stories about women in films periods are written out of their stories but it's part and parcel of our nature part and parcel of our experience it affects everything whether it's your work whether it's your relationships but we never see this this is one of the reasons why a lot of women feel very guilty when they're going through that time of the month because their energy levels are down and they can't do their work the way they always do it but they feel so guilty and they want to apologize for it but it's like no it's not your fault this is what your body is supposed to be doing and we've created this habit as women where we just brush it off we're like oh yeah it's hard for all of us but we don't really want to sit down and think about and talk about how hard it makes life for some people and even create that community and sisterhood so that we can support each other and make each other feel validated about their own experience. The way we treat and talk about periods in our society really shows how we oppress and don't like women. Well, because we're living in a patriarchal society, surprise, surprise. <laughs> because the conversation about periods is never really about this is an experience that women are going through. It becomes, oh, you're making men feel uncomfortable. And you're like, excuse me this is a natural experience how did it become a men's issue H how how did men come into this conversation like how how is my body deciding that it wants to break itself down every month my problem and how is it my problem if that is making men uncomfortable isn't that a men's issue like if you're getting uncomfortable with a natural thing that happens to women's bodies i think it's your problem it's your issue it's not me it's you and somehow we've just accepted this and when girls start their periods in schools because you start at a very young age some people even at nine years you are told to hide yourself, hide your pads, ensure that it's not making noise. Like, excuse me? Ugh. We just have to do everything to make ourselves uncomfortable, but to make men feel comfortable. And yet we're the ones who have to experience the periods. Like, oh. This is exactly why it's a lonely experience, because even if you know that your fellow classmate or colleague is going through the same thing you can't even talk about it you can't even tell them because it's like shh, 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 shh. Oh, it's annoying something else that i don't tell you about periods is how bad the symptoms can be we mostly hear people talking about oh my god my mood is changing i'm so moody i am crying a lot but that's not all the symptoms let's not talk about how people use oh it's that time of the month to make fun of you for having a change in mood or when men are trying to tell you something and you don't agree with them and then they're like oh it's the time of the month like people are using that as a way of making fun of you or mocking you but it's not a laughing matter and it's not a funny matter because the symptoms the experience is not fun 
there's nothing funny about feeling like someone is cutting your insides with a knife that is blunt a rusty blunt knife over and over what's funny about that why shouldn't i be mad why shouldn't i be crying if that's what happening in my body for a long time women have been saying that crumbs are really bad but people would just be like especially men oh my god you were just exaggerating it's not that bad until recently research has shown that period cramps are as painful as heart attacks even men in relationships who don't believe their girlfriends when they say that their cramps are so painful that they have to experience a period simulator for them to actually believe that it's painful isn't it crazy that on top of going through this pain, you have to explain yourself, you have to almost try and prove to everyone that it's real because they don't believe you because you're a woman? <sighs> and as if the pain is not enough, there's memory lapses, there's so many times where I shower and then after two hours I'm like, did I shower? And I'm someone who has really great memory. But at least once every month, I will have a period where my memory is just so bad. And I'm just like, what the hell is this? I didn't sign up for this. There's also cravings and they can be cravings. We just keep on changing here and there. One time you are craving something like chocolate and the moment you start eating chocolate, you are craving something salty and you're just like, why? Why? Worst thing that I really hate is nausea. Like, oh you feel hungry but you're feeling nauseous your senses get so sharp that you're just smelling things that you've never smelled before and somehow everything just smells bad so you have cravings but you can't eat because you're feeling nauseous and then you have these sharp senses and everyone just smells and especially people that don't wear deodorant for <laughs> goodness <laughs> It's a crazy experience. It's not even a laughing matter. Not to mention the fats, the diarrhea. My God, the fats. <laughs> My God. The fats. Why? Why are the fats smelling like a goat's fats? Huh? I just don't get it. I just don't get it like what the hell is happening to my body also have pelvic pain lower back pain like every part of you is just in pain you're just confined to bed and for some other people it's worse the period where discomfort is the word of the day hot flashes will be coming at you during the night you can't even sleep well it's like you're experiencing the first trimester of pregnancy plus menopause all at once it's like your body is punishing you because you didn't get pregnant didn't get fertilized or didn't become an embryo and a fetus so now you're getting punished for not doing your job on this earth <laughs> they also don't tell you about sanitary products and how some of them are actually bad for you i remember there was a time where some pads actually burnt my skin it happens to a lot of people because no one tells you this happens because a lot of these companies are trying to make a profit so they use plastic to make these sanitary products and it just ends up really destroying your skin. So you have to be really careful about that. Something else that no one ever tells you, but it's something that I've come to learn on my own is that your periods actually reflect the state of your physical, your psychological and your emotional health. If you have psychological and emotional trauma, you might have periods that are much more painful and heavier. If you're not living a healthy lifestyle or eating lots of vegetables or just eating whole foods in general, it also shows in your periods. And I realized this once I became a vegan for some time, about one year to two years, and the heaviness of my periods really reduced, and even the pains of my cramps really reduced. And I was like, oh, the food, the food does help. As you heal from your psychological and emotional trauma, your cycle changes so that it can be in sync with the moon. So ideally, our cycles are supposed to be in sync with the moon, but because we live in a society that is really not created for women it's created for men we are always stressing ourselves and our bodies as women that means once you're born into this world as a woman already you are born with a lot of trauma which also comes from generational trauma but as you work on those traumas your cycle keeps on sinking with the moon i think it's just so amazing but i'm also wondering why is it that we don't talk about this well granted we live in a world that has been created by men so obviously there's very little money that goes into research about women's bodies and how our rhythms and our cycles are affecting our lives 
thankfully there's ancient knowledge and you can always tap into collective consciousness the consciousness of the universe and you can get answers from there well i have decided that i will get my answers from there because depending on the people of this world is really disappointing and also very hurtful because no one really cares about women huh but nature the universe and god cares about women and they have better answers than any human being i've also realized that periods are a form of detox and you don't need to be drinking this detox teas to detox your body because during that time your body just removes all the gunk out of you like it's just a natural way essentially they're not supposed to be painful but again because of our lifestyles because we are not living according to how we're supposed to be living as women because yeah <clears throat> we live in a world that has been created by men that's why we have a hard time that's why our energy levels are low but it's actually good for us because it just cleans out our bodies and it's actually the time that i can tell you very much about what is going on inside of you so if you really pay attention to your periods you can really get to know so much about yourself and something that i'm very conscious about now is trying to live according to my cycle and of course this is also something that no one ever tells you about during our cycles we have four phases there's the menstruation the follicular the ovulation and the luteal phase and all of these just come with the different energy levels and if you learn how your body responds during these different cycles then you can know when to do certain things whether it's the heavy workouts the light ones when you're most creative when you can do business as the best get to do the things that you're good at at a time in the month where you are primed for that and that's when you achieve the most success and then when it's time for you to rest you can just rest and you're not pushing yourself so much and when you're resting you're actually preparing yourself for when your body is at its prime fertile with lots of energy and you come guns blazing and you're closing all the deals and people are like where does she get this this is the power that as women we can tap into naturally and we need to start learning how to live according to our cycles for us to really live our best lives that's something that i'm actually working on and it's amazing so far <laughs> something else that i don't tell you is how periods can actually become a medical condition there are people who really have really 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 bad years and it's not like it's their fault it's just something that just creeps up on you it's also genetic something like endometriosis which affects the lungs you know and it's a really bad time for some other people there are people who also go through the polycystic ovarian syndrome and it's just not a good experience for other people so we need to really be empathetic to other people and we also need to talk about it more so those who are experiencing this really bad periods can get medical attention because it's a medical condition and you shouldn't ignore it because it really has such devastating effects some people can't even go to work some people can't even go to school because of how bad it is and because we have a society that is really not compassionate about women's experiences these people lose their jobs and there's nothing they can do because it's not written in the laws that you shouldn't discriminate women based on the periods and also because we've created societies where we don't believe women they're always told yeah you know you're just overreacting it's really bad now huh? those are some of the things that no one ever tells you about periods but i think there are so many other things that i don't even know about but i think it's really important for us to create that open space for us to talk about experiences because it's important and we need to validate our own experiences it's not something that we chose it's a natural thing and we need to make it normal and we need to see it even in our stories we need to see it in films wouldn't it be so cool if you watched wonder woman and she's going to fight and then ah oh, she's going through crabs everyone goes through that olympic swimmers compete with their periods because they're not allowed to take time out there's nothing like that again because the world has been created by men for us to live normal lives where our experiences our natural experiences are not a hindrance to us where we are not punished for something that we don't choose we need to make it normal we need to talk about it more and we need to show empathy to our fellow women and compassion and we should be there to help without judgment and we need to believe women when women talk about the pain that they experience because a lot of women have been ignored in hospitals and they've lost their lives because again 
we live in our world where we're taught that women are always exaggerating things but we need to really start by believing ourselves because again we've also been taught not to believe ourselves to believe ourselves because everything that we're experiencing is valid and it's not just in our heads you know why that lorry is not moving faster it's hindering my filming it's probably not getting caught by the microphone but i can hear it quite well it's just distracting oh it's a tractor not a lorry oh carrying some timber those people are destroying the forests. 